What size dinosaur did you say you wanted again? I'd like a large, extra thick. Hello everyone, this is Sorry and Target welcoming you back to a very special Carnivore's mod announcement video, where today, we are taking a very quick look at a surprise dinosaur release that completely snuck up on me, and I cannot get over how exciting this new dinosaur is. Ever since this dinosaur's design was revealed over a year ago, it instantly became one of my favorite carnivore's animal designs ever. Right up there with Triassic's Postosuchus and Far North's Hyenodon. And now, the beast is ready to hunt. Right after the Jurassic DLC pack release, Carnivores Plus now has an 11th huntable DLC dinosaur. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the one, the only, the Chunky Iniquotyrannus. So this is coming right off the heels of my Beta 2.1 release coverage for Carnivores Plus. And if you haven't seen that video yet, link in the description. And the reason I didn't include this dinosaur in the last video is because, well, it came out about a week after the Beta release. So that last video was already too far into production and already too long for what was supposed to be just a quick announcement video. So we're just going to cover this big boy here. Also, while I'm at it, it completely slipped my mind that I didn't even talk about the new DLC dinosaurs in my last video. So I'm going to very quickly fire off some brief thoughts about them after we talk about Iniquitiranus. So without further ado, let's begin. So Iniquitiranus is a huge new DLC dinosaur for Carnivores Plus, taking up the entire T-Rex AI slot as an immense, unstoppable force of nature. Created by the master modder himself, Poharex, this dinosaur is based on an old Tyrannosaurus painting by Carnivores God and legendary paleo artist, Zdenyek Burian. I never cared too much for the design in the painting myself. I always found the spiked Ceratopsian a more interesting design, personally. But something about the way Poerex brought the animal to life just, I don't know, I fell in love with it. The soft purple and gray colors, the rich blue eyes. And you guys know I like my dinosaurs extra thick. It had such a charm and character, and I just couldn't wait to see it in action. Of course, that was over a year ago, and when the Jurassic DLC pack came out a few days ago, I was only slightly disappointed that Iniquitiranus wasn't among the new DLC dinosaurs. Little did I know that just a few days later, I'd get to see this absolute unit in the flesh. And my gosh, I am in absolute awe. And what makes this release even better is that Iniquitiranus comes with a beautiful, voracious, and unique kill animation. That's right guys, a new carnivore's animal has a brand new, unique kill animation. And I am just speechless. Look how he just scarfs him down. I mean, what other way would such a huge dinosaur eat its meals? That is a thing of beauty, a thing of history. It's iconic, and it makes me so happy that Iniquu Tyrannus got to be the dinosaur to make carnivores history. So far, I've only managed to take down two of them myself, and I won't spoil where the weak zone is here, but let me tell you, these guys are tanks. You know, maybe it's just the exhilarating adrenaline rush I'm on right now, but I'm just gonna say it. As of right now, Iniquu Tyrannus is my absolute favorite carnivores dinosaur. Fan-made, official, whatever. This guy takes the cake. And eats it too. I know Analio Tyrannus is coming out soon for... Carnivores Equinox, I think? 
Maybe Carnivores 2 Plus? I honestly can't remember, but that's gonna be a strong contender for the spot. So we'll have to see how it stacks up in action against this hefty brute. Now, full disclaimer, this is a preliminary build of the Niku Tyrannus. Like the other Carnivores Plus DLC dinosaurs, it doesn't have any sound effects or calls or menu images yet, but we will be seeing more updated versions of it and the other DLC dinosaurs in future releases of Carnivores Plus. If I had to offer any critiques right now, I'd personally like to see the dinosaur do a little something after eating the hunter, instead of just standing there. Maybe it could lie down to rest and digest, or give a happy little shake like the Majungatholus does. But regardless, this is phenomenal work, Poharex. Phenomenal work. Now, this Iniku Tyrannus does come with a custom hunter model that you will need to drop into the hunt at folder as well to replace the old hunter model in order for this new kill animation to work. In Carnivores, the hunter model is used only for death animations that are painstakingly synced up to each dinosaur AI's kill animation. That's why most of them just eat the hunter's dead body. It's easier. So since Iniku Tyrannus is on T-Rex AI, unless you want your hunter being flung around by an invisible T-Rex, make sure to replace the hunter model as well. And now, real quick, I'm just gonna rapid fire my thoughts on the other DLC dinosaurs that I missed last time. Just focusing on the models and animations, because that's all there is right now. Elaphrosaurus. I love the model. It looks like a lightning fast dinosaur. The colors are a bit meh, but I can overlook it. The walk animation does seem a bit floaty, but that also kind of emphasizes how sleek and lightweight it is. And with some proper sound work, I bet that floaty walk could actually be pulled off. Dysalotosaurus honestly freaks me out. It's got this oddly human-like swagger to its arms when it walks, and just, <laughs> what is it? I do love it for its weirdness though. I love seeing just utterly bizarre dinosaurs like this. I love its huge tail and the weight it has. You can see it flop and strain as the animal moves. This thing honestly reminds me a bit of Poerex's Diracodon, who I do hope we get to see somewhere in the future. Scalitosaurus looks amazing, just like Parker's old depiction, and it camouflages perfectly on nearly every map. Honestly, we just need him a baby Parasaurolophus, Pteranodon, Triceratops, and Seismosaurus to pal around with, and he'll be good to go. Silurus is probably my favorite dinosaur out of the Jurassic DLC pack. The skin is gorgeous with the pink, purple, magenta, jaguar pattern, complemented by sharp blue eyes. And the huge tail fan and the quills and the whiskers make this one of the most unique and colorful dinosaurs in the entire Carnivores franchise. This is the dinosaur that I'll probably keep on my Raptor AI slot. Onceraptor is a dinosaur you just can't help but love. It's just a big goose. I love its little waddle, I love its colors and its swampy camouflage, and I can't wait to hear the sound effects for it. Lyphranix is a new dinosaur clearly ripped off from, <coughs> I mean based on, Jurassic World Evolution's Deinonychus, and I think it made the retro transition back to carnivores very well. Much better than some. The default skin is pretty similar to the Velociraptors, but Lyphranix has a host of alternate skins depending on where you find it on the dinosaur planet. So that'll be really cool to see Lyphranix coming back as a returning character. As an aside, I think it would be good to see at least one of these three Velociraptor AI dinosaurs rewired for Allosaurus AI specifically. I know technically they do work on Allo AI too, but knowing that the swim and idle animations are reversed just festers in the back of my head. Plus, that would space out the roster and not cram everything on Raptor AI. Anyway, minor nitpick over. Dilophosaurus looks incredible. The model and texture camouflage perfectly, the blue crests are a gorgeous touch, and its new snake-like look and behavior are something I've wanted to see out of Dilophosaurus for a long time. 
That tongue flick animation is amazing. No, it's not Jen's, and I know we all have a soft spot for that old Dilo, but if you give this one a chance, it really grows on you, and I think it's a more than worthy successor. Innovator is a bit of a mixed bag for me. It's about as attractive as a real life turkey. My gosh, those things are hideous. But I do stand by it and respect it as one of Pohorex's creations. However, the animations do feel a bit stiff. It kinda walks around like a guy in a big rubber suit, so some more polish there might be beneficial. Stokesosaurus is a dinosaur that I wasn't just a big fan of when it was first revealed. I mean, I liked it, but it didn't just blow me away. Now, however, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs in the mod. I love the contrast of the feathers and spikes and horns, and of course, it's just natural bulk. It feels like a big wolf, and I can't wait to hear some sounds on it. Honestly, the best part about these new DLC dinosaurs to me personally is their sheer diversity when all viewed together. You've got dinosaurs of all shapes, tall and thin, big and fat, long and lean, short and stocky, and you've got them in all colors. Red, blue, purple, yellow, black, pink, gray, and with all sorts of adornments. Spines, spikes, crests, feathers, quills, whiskers, wattles, osteoderns, horns, claws, webbed feet. There's just something for everyone here. And they're all so fun. They're fun dinosaurs with fun designs, and I love that about them. Alright, so there you go guys. Some fantastic new dinosaurs have just made their way into Carnivores Plus, and I hope you've had a chance to download and hunt or just observe them. But which one is your favorite? I'm pretty partial to this big son of a gun myself. But be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I always love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget, if you do want to be notified in a more timely manner about Carnivores news and updates, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, there are links in the description. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload. You know, once every three blue moons. Thanks as always for watching guys, you are all truly the best. And I will see you guys next time. I'm honestly not sure what's up with this. Is this a code? A cipher? Hmm. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching, I genuinely appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the Carnivores games and Carnivores content on YouTube, and want to help support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash sorryandtarget. There's a link down below in the description of this video. Now it's not required or expected of anyone, just by watching this video you have proven yourself an amazing person by helping me out. But I do want to give a special thanks to those supporting the channel on Patreon who helped make this video possible. Thank you all for everything you do. You are all the best. And I will see you guys next time.